Hello and welcome to the Minutes Within the Mist. We travel to the mountains of the Alps to bring you stories about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today, I want to tell you about the serpentine cat-like creature, the Tatzel Worm. During the 14th century, Heinrich von Winkelried faced a dragon-like serpent that had been feeding on the farm animals of the village of Unterwalden, Switzerland. The terrorized residents would describe it as being half cat and half serpent. Heinrich, a convicted criminal, agreed to kill the monster in exchange for his freedom. After traveling atop the Alps, he spent many days tracking until he successfully killed the Tatsa worm. He raised his sword high to celebrate, and a drop of the creature's blood fell from his blade. Unfortunately, the drop killed him instantly when it touched his bare skin. He would not be the last victim of the creature. One day, in 1779, Hans Fuchs was hiking in the mountains when he was frightened by two of the strange creatures. In a panic, he raced home to tell his family about the encounter, which ended up being a little bit too much for the older man. He died subsequently that night of a heart attack. But before dying out of fright, Fuchs described the beast as being between five and seven feet in length, with a winding serpent-like body, two clawed front legs, and a cat-like head. Belief in the creature was accepted to the people of the Alps as fact, even without any physical proof. One man alleged to have found a dead body of a Tatsu worm, but the body was apparently eaten suspiciously by crows before its identification could be made. In 1954, a Swiss photographer rekindled the attention of the Tatsu worm when he claimed to have taken a photo of the mysterious creature, triggering a search for it which resulted in only frustration. Regardless, Stories have persisted, some claiming that the Tatsu worm is capable of leaping nine feet in the air, and others claiming that it spouts green blood when attacked. Despite the lack of proof, at this moment of time, somewhere in the mountains of the Alps, there remains a grotesque creature, part cat and part serpent. I hope you enjoyed the story of the Tatsu worm. Please, Share with your friends who would enjoy stories about cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. But until then, look to the mountains and remain constant.